Hey guys, Aquacron here, and welcome back to another video, another episode of the Loy Re mm, mm, the Loy reviews. My God, my speech is not on point today. Um, in the last video, I told you I was going to be showing you the last three remaining bosses that I haven't showed you yet, which are not uh, what is it called obtainable yet because they haven't either gotten their structure or their dimension or anything like that. So we're going to do that today. We're starting off with the uh, Storm Brothers. Here we have them, which are not playing any sound because I deactivated it. I'm done. Wait a minute. Let me just relog, and then I can uh, maybe show you the sound. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> this one actually has good music. It's four of them. Each of them has a thousand health. This one is the first one here. It's not so good yet. As you can probably see right now. Now I'm going to relock because otherwise uh, we're going to be having some trouble. Um, what's it called? The music. There we are. Uh, what is keep inventory on actually? Rule keep inventory. I have to open the world to land. What is it? True. Okay. This is what they dropped. They dropped the staff of Sky's Fury. The Three thunder power glass vials, the Kerrigan, which I was actually actually using against them, and the thundering countless of the shockwave. Mm. Then we have the Trimordial Army, which is the longest boss fight I think that I have at the moment. You take the Trimordial Catalyst and the Heartstone actually, and use it on the Catalyst, and basically they're an army. What a surprise! So they come in waves. Um, there's four different monsters that can spawn. And then after the second wave is complete, it drops down and I started the army. Then they, um, yeah, they just begin to, uh, come across. If 
you were to excuse me for just a second, I'm going to get a more powerful weapon. I'm getting my own weapon because this is different. Try strawberries here too. These beasts are very, very, very vicious predators. There's two new monsters which I think are the only one. There is the Trimordial Mage, the Tristory, the Trimordial Golem, and the Trimordial Beast. We've seen everything except for the Beast. The Beast is supposed to be the most common one, but it doesn't appear to be. So where is it? Oh, there's another Golem. Hello, Mr. Golem. Okay, no. As you can see, the army is not that challenging if you have equipment as good as mine. But I'm actually taking damage. Oh. I think the boss, uh, the waves itself, are entirely about three minutes away. So the boss fight's about ten minutes long. I think I'm actually skip ahead to um, the boss fight uh, when. Whoops when Ligatrix actually comes, and I'll see you then. Okay guys, we're in wave 2 right now. As you can see in the chat, it has started, and I'm getting attacked by monsters again. Mm -hmm. I'm already switching on the recording now because I don't want to miss the start of the Ligatrix. Because, yeah, you should hear. And that was the beast, by the way. Think of these boss fights, of course. Always open for opinions. Should be taking too long. Wave one took about, I'd say, three minutes. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of variety uh, from the monsters that spawn, so that. Beasts are the ones that are the most annoying because they're so gosh darn fast. The golems seem to be trying to get out to attack the villages. Causing trouble all the time, are we? Mr. Beast causing trouble. Ocean of fear, the force, and this, this adventure is really nostalgia to me. It should be ending soon. The wave, pretty soon at least. I should call these beasts Troublemaker, to be honest. Oh, wait, they're too ugly to be called that. Only one the reference. Actually, only one true fan will really care. You foolish mortal! You really think you would stop us? We are the all powerful. We were the first to conquer all 17 realms. And you will not stop us today. Well, that was Obligatrice's voice line, but he did spawn in. That's why I'm going to grab him up right now. I don't get why this why he didn't spawn in. Really, that's a glitch. <laughs> the annoying thing about him is he has these heal zones. And as long as he's in the range of these heal zones, you are unable to hurt him. So you have to. So you have to lure him away from the healed stone. 
I think he has a 30 block range of these heals. Yeah. yeah, now we got a range of the heal stones, and now we can take it. This is a Ligatrix in the chest. He's going to be dropping something more than this, but I haven't got that info yet. He drops the Obliviator, the Pure Gem of Power, the Staff of Incineration, and Kurtex and Ingot. Which, by the way, you get a lot of them through the fight. And now I think it's time for the Shadow Apocalypse, also known as Sriaxa. For this, I'm going to be taking that speed effect off me. And then I'm going to be showing you this. The start of it, I'm going to be showing you in creative. And the speed is not going away because of my arm. Look how much damage that guy did to my armor. This uh, Sriaxo is um, in the storyline. He's the one that destroyed all of the world, or that was going to destroy all of the worlds, but it was prevented and he got trapped in this box. And now, if you release it, his entire essence will corrupt the land, and I am going to show you that right now. There we go. You can see the land is getting corrupted. Slowly but surely it's taking over. And it has a very, very big range, guys, trust me. It has a 400 block range. It takes a while to load in completely. That's why I'm going to stay at the box. The box turns into bedrock afterwards. Let's see how far this is reached. It also turns water into something called pure darkness. Which is very annoying. The liquid is very annoying, I can I can tell you that. The stone turns into infected stone and there is Sriaxo. I'm going to have to turn on the particle effects for this because he is incredibly laggy with the particle effects on. There we go. That's better. There we go, and now we're going to be fighting Sriaxo. Don't step on the grass, by the way, it gives you a nausea. And he summons these shadow minions. And this is Sriaxo himself. Sriaxo himself is not as powerful as you would expect, but I'm constantly getting hit by some of these minions. What is damaging me? I don't get this. What is damaging me? Let me just check what this is. Maybe it's just a rendering issue. Probably is actually. Yeah, see there was a shadow man in front of me all the time. But it didn't really do it. But actually himself is not the most powerful, but he's definitely the most annoying because he destroys your entire the entire land. And the reason why I wanted to show you him uh, in the adventure map is because only here you can really see what Triaxo does. Oh, my helmet broke. I, I, it didn't, I actually just didn't put it on. Okay, Triaxo is dead. I'm gonna heal up. Now let's see. I said heal up. And let's see what he dropped. He dropped the Dark Gem, which is a quest item, uh, 10 Crystals of Shadows, which are usually crafted by Pulverizer by the Madox, and they are usable for the Staff of Light and Darkness, then the Bright Blade of the Shadows, which is 25 attack damage, uh, then the Staff of the Corrupted Soul, and 10 more Pulverized Eliminatox. And now I'm going to be showing you what Sriaxo can really do to your world, if cheats were enabled, please. Thank you. And I'm going to be taking on my helmet for this. So, as you can see, he turned a pretty big part of the land into darkness. This I already blew up, by the way. That, that was... <laughs> I used the reactor on that. And as you can see here, 
The rocks have turned into infected stone. The grass turns into corrupted grass. The trees turn into bone blocks. The radius is pretty big, as you can see. Very, very big. The sand doesn't turn into anything. <laughs> Just sand. Dirt into dirt. Uh, into corrupted dirt, even. If there was any under it. The grass gives you nausea, which is very annoying. This is very laggy. And it turns the water here into pure darkness. And if you want to see what it does, well, just walk into it. I think I've already shown you this, actually, in my end video. You can just dive down. If any of you have uh, seen my... Why is it draining my energy this fast? Did I say to do that? I don't remember. Anyway, what we're actually going to see... As you, as you can see, it doesn't mix with water, so it just creates a barrier right here. And it's incredibly laggy, like I said. It's a good thing my temple didn't get touched. If any of you have played my map, you know this is the place where you would summon me. But that's for a different video. Here you see, that's me. I'm pretty easy to kill with the equipment in my mod. Mm. And yeah, that was pretty much all I had to show you for this video. Let me just check if I missed anything. My god, this stuff is laggy. Oh my god. Pure darkness is a nightmare, not only for Minecraft, but for your entire PC. I think that was everything. Yeah, it was. Okay then, thank you for watching guys, and I'll hope to see you in the next one. Aquacron, over. Oh.